Come on. You can do it, Edward. I believe in you. He's the world's worst detective. You can't even get around a fucking desk. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand conclusion to this horrific tale. Edward Carnby is in the penultimate chapter. There's not long left to go. There's all sorts of cultist shit going on. I don't know which way is up right now, but I do know that I will get Edward Carnby out of this mess, no matter how much it costs me. Ooh, no. The corruption is really seeping into the mansion now. But the question is, where do we go? Ooh, jumped into the menu a little bit too soon. Something bad's happening. Christ, what the hell was that? Maybe the tree's fallen over. Oh yeah, so we've got the um, sacrificial dagger as well. That's definitely gonna be used to kill someone. The question is who, and will we be happy about it? Okay, objectives, break into Dr. Gray's office and find out what he knows. Ah, everything is locked. Finally, a haunted mansion that knows how to actually stop the player. Just fucking lock him in a hallway. You see the trees whispering louder now. I can hear it from like the other side of the room. Whereas I used to only be able to hear it when I was in front of it. Oh, the girl I brought. I feel like this is going to be a Booker DeWitt situation where we've had a little bit of memory loss and that girl, because you recognise the girl at the start of the game, the little ginger one. So I'm thinking maybe there's some relation there, but I'm sure we're going to find out soon. Come on, you bastard. I know there's going to be an enemy out here. Just reveal yourself, swine. Can I ditch him? I can't leave. I got a job to do. Yeah, all right, detective. We know you're a nut job. I've, I've sussed you out. I've fucking, I've booked your ticket. I've clocked your number. So the rot here hasn't spread yet, which could be a good sign. Detective Conby. Good to see you again. We got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out, and things will begin again. Oh, lovely. That sounds strangely threatening. Paper mache demon girl right now. Whether alcoholic <coughs> groomer. Back with the creepy dolls. And it's regenerated its face. More cockroaches in the bathroom. Man, PT has done irreparable damage to the cockroach community. Before we go into Dr. Gray's office, I say we check out the empty room, just in case we get locked out, because I uh, I feel like we're gonna find something very interesting there. Maybe even plot changing. Boy with Heron, Studio Ghibli reference. Oh. Oh my God. Is the dark man. He's pointing us in. He's. He's welcoming us with a warm cup of tea. Oh, Ooh, something in the vent. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. Okay, so let's see what's in this abandoned room then. Read the writing on the wall. This is my room. Yep. I belong here. I told you. I fucking told you he belongs here. I told you this was going to be his room. But then maybe that's too easy. I know the combination. I carry it with me. Maybe it'll be on his, like, whiskey flask, maybe, then? Oh, Edward Carby, P.I. is gonna be here. I would say maybe it's his license number, but it's gonna be too long. Oh, it is his fucking detective number. It's just the first three. I'm telling you, I'm so good at figuring shit out. You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? Your detective number, 196. Oh, baby, we've done it again. Detective strikes again. An old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Okay, so we need to get the vent open first, but we don't have anything for that. So let us check the doctor's room. Oh, France. Oh, France. I don't remember there being a locked stairwell. Thinking about it, maybe the stairwell in question is in the piano room. Oh. Ooh. Oh, bad stuff is happening. Swanky I can't jazz bar. Take this much more. This has to end. We got any uh, Hibiki Centauri? McAllen 12? Yeah, we're gonna get you, pal. You, uh, you what? You sleeping with my wife? Well, tell Tommy I said hi. <laughs> we're just pretending that shit didn't happen? Oh, we really are just pretending that shit didn't happen. So, this is the stairwell key door? Yars. Ooh, that vent does not look inviting. Blood? Maybe shit smeared? Maybe I'll stand on it. Well, that was fun. I'm probably possessed by some fucking shit pipe demon. Oh no, now we're in the infirmary. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the more crazy wing. Radiograph. Okay, so we're gonna have to build a picture of his brain somewhere. All else fails. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research. They're gonna give the boy a lobotomy. I mean, I have been calling him a lobotomy, but that doesn't mean he deserves a lobotomy. Mind you, maybe we'll have to give him an impromptu one with the dagger we found. Oh, here we go. Lights are on, and we can start rebuilding his radiograph. 
There we go. We've done it. Oh, Jeremy's darkness. A broken piece of burnt clay, its size suggests it's part of a statue. <gasps> oh, it's full of water. Oh, shit. Oh, I think we should run. I'm not allowed to run. Why does this keep happening? What am I supposed to do? Run? I don't know how to swim. They didn't teach us that at the asylum. Running across and into the attic. And we're back here. Perfect time to have a look around this place. Is he gonna look into it and start crying? It will not let me interact. Big old trunk belonging to Jeremy. No rotation. Interesting. That was painfully easy. Um, and what's it supposed to be now? Uh, oh, four, one, six. Real intense puzzles, guys. Real struggle every time. Is that a threat? A small load screen and a bit of lag does not bode well for what's gonna happen. No, is this? This is where Jeremy's hiding. Engine repair time. Edward Carnby, detective, military combatant, boat engineer. The uh, the loony basement got me pranging out a little bit. I feel like I need to, I need to lash out, assert my dominance on the environment. I mean, this is a cool looking place. Oh, the f is it dead? No, it's not dead. Shovel it. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Two shotgun shots and it's not dead. There you go. Oh, it's still not dead. What the fuck is this thing made out of? Look at it, all vibrating, breathing, pulsating. I love the Last of Us style, like nature reclaiming things. It's such a cool aesthetic. If I get the motor started, I mm -hmm. could try reversing back into the river. Okay, we can do that, Edward. We can do that indeed. Yeah, visually, the developers done a smashing job on this game. The set pieces are super varied and just really high detailed. Oh, maybe I have to break pretty this? Weak. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I'm dropping inside the big spinny wheel. And she has life. Carnival music's playing. That's unsettling. Oh, try not to slice your entire body open on the planks of wood. Ooh. Well, what the f happened there? He just one tapped me. Oh, and I gotta climb up the ladders of fucking twigs again. Yeah, yeah, keep your hat on, keep your hat on. Where is he? Throw that at him. Lovely. Eat shit and die. I hate you. Perfect. Oh. Uh, uh, stop drop. Stop drop. <laughs> what? What is he doing? Is he even alive? What the fuck was that? He just glitched his way towards me. And if I... Ooh. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> they spooked me with a corpse. Can I go down now? Somewhere important? Ooh. Is that, is that going to be a problem? No. Ah, here we go. So now I've gone down to the engine room and I'll be able to get the boat out of the bayou. Did I pick up healing items? No, come on, give me something to heal myself with. God damn it, we've killed dozens of bugs and we haven't found one healing item. Oh, whoa. 30 years ago. Okay, we've dropped in. We just about made it out. Oh, but he's come with us and he's brought our cap. What a legend. Damn. We exchange caps. I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. What do you want? We are definitely losing that it. That was Jeremy's self-deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud. Oh, maybe we can use a little coin to get into the vent. I've been looking for like a screwdriver, but a coin's like a flathead. But I mean, if we're going to use a fucking old Spanish coin, surely we could have done anything else that we found. But hey, it's a horror game. Shit like that happens in horror games. Yep, we can use the coin. Wow. So we've got the missing picture, which is that of a, of a demon. Oh, and it's all evil. I still haven't healed though, because there's no the fucking healing here? items. Oh, we're right in the bayous right now. This looks really cool though. Oh shit. Oh shit. There are a lot of beetles. Oh. Are they alive? Is this gonna wake them up? Right, so what we've got to do, we've got to make the drawing match where the corruption is spreading. Yep, we got it. Hmm. I didn't order room service. Can I take a doll for good luck? All right, let's just, let's just jump in. Let's just see what's out here. This looks familiar. Oh, it's our office. How am I, that's me. With the fucking ghost of Christmas past. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? Newspaper clippings. A uh, philanthropist, Teddy Saunders, goes mad, kidnaps child. Cool. Do I have to 
put it on the board. I'm stuck again. Why? Why am I stuck? What am I stuck? Oh! Ooh. Okay, this changes things. Come on. You can do it, Edward. I believe in you. He's the world's worst detective. You can't even get around a fucking desk. Oh, oh, baby. Baby got back. I remember this case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. Oh no, we're back in the New Orleans streets. The mean Orleans streets. Following this little red rope. No water physics? Zero out of ten. Crowbat, where's the video? This doesn't look good, boys. One wrong move. And all these assholes are gonna wake up. Start charging us. Telephone directory. DeWitt. Book of DeWitt. I told you. I told you there's going to be a DeWitt thing going on. That's right. He was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Oh, it's the Pearl River Bridge. Pearl River. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? It's the ginger girl, I'm telling you. It's the ginger little girl. Oh, this is a cool bridge. Very New Orleans. It was her all along. Is he figuring it out? I, I told you. Oh my god. It's all coming back to us now. I can't believe I didn't recognize her. Oh shit, did she die in the car crash? Back then, I, suppose. I am sorry. Did he cause the dad to die in the I car crash? I begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! So raise the bridge and we can take the boat across. Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Ooh. Do we chop that off? Can we chop it off? Oh yeah, I think we can. Oh, the bridge is, it is raising, damn. Whole thing just lifting up. Well, that was pretty hellish. So I just picked up a lanyard there and it gave me a secret objective to leave an offering at the whispering tree in the conservatory, which is interesting. I don't know what that's going to entail. It's cool that there are like little side objectives hidden in the world. Somehow, I don't think he's gonna be able to save both of them. Oh, he is already bubbling up. And he's taking us for a ride. I swear Emily was sat in the car next to him. It's the little girl Emily as a kid. Oh my God, Carnby. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. In the dark. Look at this mess. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out. I think it's about time we open fire on the staff. We have a Tommy gun. They're pushing our buttons. They're clearly up to no good. I'm just saying, drop a few. The rest hey, will fall in line. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <coughs> the fuck was this that? Place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures around here. What have you got to say, oh spooky tree? Oh, here we go. What is it? What do you want? Don't worry. I'll remember. She will call you when it's time. Do not ignore her. This is like an alternate ending, maybe? I don't know what that is about but I don't trust it. Detective, am I glad to see you. Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. Oh, it's a throwback. Static camera angles, I love that. Stick in the false book. And what now, is it gonna move? It is indeed. What did you do? Secret chamber. Dracetta was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshiped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or shubnigroth. Investigate the broken clock. Ah, we've got to align it with the numbers, but I didn't see which one it was, wait. So bottom and then top top. Even I don't know what I just said, but it's something like that. So what now? Will Emily Blunt be gone? You okay? Oh, she's still here. You look a little frazzled. And there's a way through in the wardrobe. You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. I wonder how this scene plays inside? out when you're playing as Emily. And we're back over the shoulder. God, this chapter is, is I want to say dragging because that has a bit of an offensive connotation, but it, it's lasting a long time. Ah, Antarctic exploration. Ah, oh, flare gun. 
Alan Wake is quivering in his boots right now. I can't see fuck all in this storm. Objective, keep going. Okay, let's get another flare off. This storm is just not clearing. I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to be shooting these flares, but I don't know how else you're supposed to see where you're going. My man's being kept artificially warm with nothing but a fedora. Oh, have we found it? Is this our way through? Oh yeah, okay, damn. It's the Aurora lights. There is something in motion. I think it's just like a, a big sphere. I thought that was like a big worm at first, but maybe not. We're pulling up on Stargate right now. Should I maybe shoot the flare? It feels like he's struggling. Nope, never mind. Ooh, is that an enemy? No, it's a person. Maybe it's Jeremy? No, it's what gonna be an enemy, place? isn't it? Oh ho ho ho! Whoa, take it easy! I'm not your enemy! Oh, you're wrong, detective! Ooh. You're wrong! I'm allowed to open fire! This is a stand your ground state! There we go, he's dead. Alright, so now we've got proper zombie like creatures coming at us in the snow. They kind of look like the guys from uh, Dead Space 3, to be fair. But whatever they are, whatever their problem is, if they get up in my face, they're gonna die. So all I have to do is shift it so it's the sign of the Taurus, which is my star sign. Are we gonna get teleported to like another dimension now? Oh, it's opening up. Oh no, it has teleported us. Oh no. Oh, he's mutating. Oh, it's Jacob. I don't know who the fuck Jacob is, to be honest. But he's mutating and he will not stay dead. Oh, maybe I can shoot him with my uh, flare gun. Did not do what I thought it would. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stab him. Yeah. Impale him with the knife. Has that done it? A little bit, but not fully. I wonder how many times we're going to do it. Three is like the lucky number, isn't it? That's like the average. Third time's a charm? Is that it? Yeah. Told you. Oh. Damn. Oh, classic. Taking us for the ride. Edward Carnby's having his very own Gandalf you shall not pass moment. Back through all the locations and into the coffin. Oh, he's crying. Jeremy. Oh, it's Jeremy. And now the dark butterfly man's coming for us. I wonder is that the actual Jeremy we just stabbed in the eye? Because that's pretty savage. Did everything? Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, oh my lord! Doctor! Baptiste! Quick! What the fuck? We just beat up on a woman? Jesus. What are you thinking, Carpet? Alright, chapter five. We stab Jeremy in the eye and batter the woman. You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy, I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Well, this is all very cheerful, isn't it? It's all for manhandling. You're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Don't trust really? it, Edward. Do not trust okay. it. They're lying to you. How are you feeling, detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed oh, to lobotomize I told you we'd lobotomize him with a dagger. I called it all. I did what? They're telling porky pies. They're building a porky pie factory and they're in full manufacturing right now. Oh, they saved us some gumbo. I thought it was her we were attacking earlier, but clearly not. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. Bruh, she was possessed for like a full second when she was saying that there. Goddamn eyes disappeared. All right, you know, I spoke to everyone. I found them all lacking in the conversation department. Uh, so let's, let's get this show on the road. Let's see what Emily has to say. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Well, that wasn't creepy at all. Yeah. Oh! Are you crazy? This is the least that happened, Cosby. Grace, stop! Oh. Come with me. Get over here. Oh, I live a shot. That's like the most painful possible death. She's still alive. Trees burning. He's out the window. Holy mother of God, the tree has done come to life. Well, at least the girl's out. But uh, everyone else is absolutely 
dead. I have no clue what's going on right now. This has gone from zero to 100 so fast. I've got whiplash. Stop the black goat of the wood. Okay. You see, she was up to no good, like teleporting places and shit, and now she's just dead. But then maybe this is all still some delusion in Edward's head. Yeah, we're out on the roof. I can't even hear myself thinking right now. This has to be a delusion. Ah, oh, but then earlier, when we were getting the shotgun, the building was on fire, wasn't it? Maybe this, that was like a flash forward. It looks like one of those demons from Baldur's Gate. But I'll take it we got to destroy those little bugs. It is the classic, isn't it? Like an ancient god capable of manipulating reality. But they're like, oh, let me just grow my little weak ball bags on my forehead. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here, but he has not hit me once, even though he's got tentacles flying everywhere. Ooh. Looks like I spoke too soon. What's it doing? Why is he falling over? Do I shoot here, is it? Oh, shit. He's giving birth. I mean, it went from uh, a little bit too easy to uh, there's a lot going on. I might be in a spot of bother. I might be in a spot of bother. No. Okay. God, I'm not sure if it's just like a waste of ammo to be taking these guys out or if it'll make my life easier. Candlestick? Damn, we're playing Cluedo right now. Come on, just accept that your life is over. An ancient goddess and you've been fucked up by an alcoholic with a fedora. Okay, I do think fighting the guys is the better option because you have some more room to breathe. He has to be low on health now. I've been shooting him for ages. Is that finally it? Is he done? Oh, the roof's caved in. Is the whole mansion coming down? Damn, I think we're Audi. I think we've done it. Or is he going to burst through again? That was just phase one. There are the boys outside waiting for us. I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Yeah, we saved your life, little girl. You should be thanking us. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Yeah, look at that. The mansion is in ruins, burnt to the ground, collapsed. But is that the end? That is the end. Um, tasting notes. What am I thinking right now? It's just okay, but it's okay to have okay horror games. Not everything has to be a masterpiece or a game changer. Sometimes it's nice to just play good, fun horror. But uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Subscribe if you enjoyed this and comment what you'd like to see me play next. I'm curious what you guys think and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.